Day one of the World Cup of Darts in Frankfurt, Germany. 32 nations vying for a year's worth of bragging rights. Could Scotland and Australia, two of the favorites, survive opening night? What about Austria? The darting worlds collide today on High Roller Radio. Team Unicorn was ready. It's World Cup of Darts Day, it tweeted. The stage is just about set. And yes, there was a buzz in the air. There's the order of play on this night one. Some interesting matchups too, which by the way, you can read all about in the Maximum's brand new World Cup magazine just out today at the Maximum.tv. And how about that? An article written by yours truly on Team Canada, a rookie and a legend. Dawson Merchelle has no trepidation, the highlighted quote. Pretty good article if I do say so myself. Again, the Maximum.tv also made this, trying to improve my meme game, and I love the darts, so why not? Canada does rock, and yes, we do got this. Incidentally, at Premium Dart Data provided a list of players who have competed in every World Cup since 2010. John Part's name right there among them. Sulovic, Elsinas, and Whitlock were all in action today as well. If Canada gets through this first round, Dart Chat tweeted, they could be half decent in the following rounds. John and Dawson are good. And there they are. John Part, Dawson, Merchel, Canada facing Italy to kick off the tournament. And it was all Canucks early on. This double 16 from the three-time world champ made it 4-0. The Azuri did get on the board in the fifth leg, double 10 from Alessia Medina, but from there the Canadians would close it out. Dawson Merchel in his rookie season on the PDC, having fun, enjoying the moment. The 22-year-old would sneak in a third dart, double 8 for the match, 5-1 the final. Canadians averaging just 74, 32% on the doubles, but it was good enough. A win is a win, Merchel said on social media afterward. Not happy at all with how I played. My hand was vibrating and my head was spinning. Preparation was not right at all today, but I'll take a win and I'm still so proud to wear the Canada flag and play with the legend John Part. Thank you to everyone watching. Second fixture featured Spain and Russia and this one was a tense encounter. Went all the way to a last leg shootout and how about this? Tony Elsinas with a sparkling 136 checkout in the decider. Sensational for the moment at 4-4. Are you kidding me? Well done, sir. Spain over Russia in a 5-4 thriller. More details from at the maximum 180. Elsinas and Reyes averaging 85.11, had two 180s and were 31% on doubles. Solid performance, and yes, their nerve held. There's the China walk-on. China playing Switzerland, and there she is, Momo Zhao, the only woman competing at this year's World Cup, only the second ever to do so. Anastasia, of course, the first for Russia. Yes, a massive occasion for Team China and for the game of darts itself. We check out Momo's action there. She's smooth, straight, and very steady, but it was Switzerland out in front early. This double eight, good for an 82 finish from this man, Andreas Bless, at 3-0 Switzerland, and after 18 missed darts at double, China finally hit the outer ring to get on the board. Zhang Zhao Chen on double five. Some relief there as well. Then Momo made it 3-2 with this double ten. Game on. But from there, more missed darts at double from the Chinese, and Switzerland pounced. Six leg, double ten from Bless, and the reaction, Swiss Bliss, 5-2 the final for handshakes. Brazil versus Denmark, PDC star Diego Portela leading the way. No more number 10, but still Brazilian. His partner was as well, up 3 nothing. A nice 92 finish here from Bruno Rangel. Great reaction. Brazil in complete control. The Danes just never in this one. In the sixth leg, Rangel struck again. An 80 finish on tops to close out the match. You think he's happy? Great stuff indeed. I hope Diego's back is okay for the next round. Thumbs up from Portela. The Samba boys through with a comfortable 5-1 victory. Wales versus Thailand next, and we pick it up at 3-1 Wales. Gerwin Price missing darts at a double here, and Tanawat made him pay. Very nice 80 checkout for 3-2. Nice reaction, too. Then his partner, Adapul Yukapari, nailed a double top for 3-3. Pressure on Wales, but 
The experience of Gerwin Price and Johnny Clayton, just too much today. The Iceman closing it out with a double top. Relief right there. Price carried the ferret, but that's all right. A 5-3 victory, good enough for hugs from the Welshman. They are through to round two. Bow ties and beers for these fans as we move on to the Australia-Hong Kong match. The Aussies heavily favored and up a break early at 2-1. Nice view of the stage there. Simon Whitlock with two maxims through the first four legs. Then this, a clean 77 checkout. Just two darts needed, playing the captain's role beautifully. Australia dominates this one. Kyle Anderson had a maximum as well. They averaged 94 and were 50% on checkout. Stellar darts, no fuss. 5-1 the final. The Aussies looking real good. That's a strong team right there. Larry Butler towing the hockey for Team USA. He and his partner Darren Young in tough against Scotland. Peter Wright, Gary Anderson out to a quick 3-0 lead. One of the tourney favorites here. Butler, though, would hit double eight to get the Americans on the board. But very next leg, Snake Bite would complete a 13-darter. Double top. He'd hit another one to close it out. A comprehensive 5-1 victory. Snake bite and O both in good moods getting on with each other. That is ominous for the field. Last match of the evening, Austria, Japan, all smiles during the introductions. Menser Sulovic, Zoran Lurchbacker, the favorites in this one. But look at this tweet from the PDC. Japan are flying here. Asada lands tops after a brilliant setup for Muramatsu to put Japan into a 3-1 lead. Hashtag Real World Cup. And you can see the frustration there on Sulovic's face. Japan would then take a 4 2 to advantage on this double four by Haruki Muramatsu. The Austrians, though, give him credit, fought back. The Gentle nailing a 48 finish for four apiece on his favorite double 14. But in the last leg shootout, after Sulovic pinned a maximum, Sego Asada responded with one of his own, and then this double 10 for the upset. First real upset of the night, 5-4 Japan wins a nail-biter. That was it for the opening day in Frankfurt. Eight teams through to Saturday, day two tomorrow, as the other 16 nations enter the action. And you can see it right there, the matchups, more drama expected. Who's your money on? I'm taking Canada today on High Roller Radio.